एवरीवन आई एम धीरज ततार अ सिस्टम प्रोफेसर इन द केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एल जी आई टी अहमदाबाद इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ द मास ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन वन सो लेट स्टार्ट चैप्टर नेम इज लिक्विड लिक्विड एक्सट्रेक्शन एंड टॉपिक इज मटेरियल बैलेंस इन लिक्विड लिक्विड एक्सट्रेक्शन सो वी नो दैट एक्सट्रेक्शन मीन्स वी आर रिमूविंग वन ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट फ्रॉम द लिक्विड बाई यूजिंग अनादर लिक्विड आई कैन से इन लिक्विड लिक्विड एक्सट्रेक्शन we are removing one of the component from the liquid solution by using another solvent that is nothing but extracting solvent in this whole process is nothing but liquid liquid extraction and i told you there is a difference between lle that is nothing but liquid liquid extraction and leaching in leaching we are removing one of the component from the solid by using liquid but in liquid liquid extraction we are removing one of the component from the liquid solution by using third liquid so in this lecture now we will see how to take material balance over the liquid liquid extraction so you can see on the screen this is the figure for single stage unit operation that is nothing but liquid liquid extraction so you can see on the screen here stage 1 is represented by the circle and on the left hand side of that circle there are two inlet streams and on the right hand side there are two outlet streams so inlet streams are nothing but feed to be extracted and second one that is the extracting solvent and on the right hand side there are two outlet stream one is nothing but a refinate and second one is the extract phase and whatever the component we are removing from the liquid solution that is available in the extract stream now we will take material balance before that we will see some important points related to this single stage operation so you can see on the screen a single stage extraction operation may be performed in a batch wise or continuous manner And I told you in batch wise we are taking all these masses in weight or simple mass, but in a continuous manner we will take all those masses on the mass per time. Now second point is a ternary system with one pair partially miscible. I told you meaning of this in the previous lecture that ternary system means system having three components. That is nothing but component A that is your feed solvent. component b is nothing but you are extracting solvent and component c is nothing but solute which we want to extract from the feed solution and here one pair is a partially miscible so that pair is nothing but extracting solvent and the solute which we want to extract from the liquid solution now we will see co current operation and this is the figure for co current operation co current operation means solute to be extracted and extracting solvent coming from the same direction if the solid to be extracted and solvent is coming from the opposite direction there is nothing but counter current operation now we will see notations used in material balance in liquid liquid extraction so you can see on the screen first point is let f be the mass of the feed solution so this feed solution is nothing but feed solvent plus solid to be extracted or i can say one of the liquid component to be extracted that is nothing but f is equal to a plus c a is a feed solvent and c is nothing but solvent which we want to extract from the liquid solution after that second point is the feed solution is contacted with the mass s this mass s is nothing but mass of the extracting solvent that mass of the extracting solvent is nothing but component b and that mass is represented by capital s after that third point is if the solvent is pure b means i can say why s is equal to 0 Y S is equal to zero means solute initially present in the extracting solvent is equal to zero. Last point is after contacting means after liquid liquid extraction we are getting two outlet stream. First one is nothing but refinate that is represented by R one and second one is nothing but extract that is represented by E one means R one and E one. This is the mass of the refinate and extract phase respectively. Next point is let x1 be the weight fraction of C in the refinate and y1 is the weight fraction of the C in the extract. I told you x1 and y1 this is nothing but amount of the solute present in the outlet stream. X1 is represents amount of the solute in the refinate and y1 represents amount of the solute which we want to extract in the extract phase. After that as the effluent stream leaves the stage in equilibrium means at that time we will get equilibrium composition of the refinate and extract phase and after that adding solvent s that is nothing but extracting solvent to feed solution that is f means f is equal to a plus c that is added to the s after that we are getting one mixture that is represented by m1 now we will see material balance in a liquid liquid extraction so i will take here total material balance 
that yields f plus s1 is equal to m1 is equal to e1 plus r1. So, what is the meaning of this? f plus s1, f is nothing but your feed solution. I told you f is nothing but a plus c. Okay, and s1 is nothing but extracting solvent, and s1 is the mass of the extracting solvent that is component B. So, f plus s1, these are the inlet streams, and after adding these two streams, that f plus s1, we are getting one mixture that is represented by capital M1. After that, after completion of the extraction process, we are getting two outlet stream. First one is the E1 that is nothing but extract phase and second one is the R1 that is nothing but a raffinate phase. After that, this mixture E1 plus R1 also known as the M1, this is nothing but mixture 1. Now we will see material balance involved in this liquid liquid extraction, material balance for the component C that is nothing but component C which we want to extract from the feed solution that is nothing but component C, we will write now component balance for the component C. You can see on the screen that is given by F into XF plus S1 into YS is equal to M1 into XM1 is equal to E1 into Y1 plus R1 into X1. What is the meaning of this? F is nothing but mass of feed solution that is nothing but A plus C. After that XF, XF is nothing but solute concentration in the feed solution that is nothing but concentration of component C available in the feed solution that is given by XF. After that S1, S1 is the mass of the extracting solvent and YS is nothing but mass fraction of the solute present in the extracting solvent. Initially that YS is equal to 0 because our extracting solvent is in the pure form. After that M1, this is nothing but mixture of the two feed streams or I can say mixture of the two outlet streams that is given by M1 means that is the whole mass of the inlet streams or outlet streams and XM1, this is nothing but amount of the solute or I can say mass or weight fraction of the solute in the mixture stream. Finally, there are two outlet streams. First one is E1 that is nothing but mass of the extract phase and Y1 is nothing but this is the mass fraction or weight fraction of the solute in extract phase. R1 is the mass of the raffinate phase and X1 is nothing but weight fraction or mass fraction of the solute in a raffinate phase. After that, now we will consider LHS side of the previous figure where we are having two inlet stream that is the feed to be extracted and second one is the extracting solvent. So, we will consider here only left hand side now. So, you can see on the screen. Now, you can see on the screen left hand side of the equation number 2 that is nothing but F into XF plus S1 into YS is equal to M1 into XM1. So, how to find mole fraction of the solute in this mixture stream? So, you can see here. Now, I am going to put here value that is M1 is equal to F plus S1. I told you M1 is nothing but a mixture that gives the mixture of the two inlet stream and outlet stream. So, we here we have considered left hand side. So, I will consider here inlet streams only. So, M1 is nothing but F plus S1 and we have to put this value in equation number 3. Now, put M1 is equal to F plus S1 in equation number 3. After that, you will get equation in this form that is nothing but F into XF plus S1 into YS is equal to F plus S1 into XM1. I told you meaning of F, XF, S1, YS and all those things. After rearranging all this term, you will get equation in this form that is nothing but you can see on the screen XM1 is equal to F into XF plus S1 into YS divided by F plus S1. So, this is nothing but weight fraction of the solute present in the mixture stream. Here we have considered mixture stream is nothing but mixture of the inlet streams. Now, we will consider mixture of the outlet stream that is nothing but site RHS. Now, we will consider RHS site. You can see here M1 into XM1 is equal to E1 into Y1 plus R1 into X1. This is nothing but mixture of the outlet streams. So, here I will write now R1 in the form of M1 minus E1. I told you M1 is nothing but R1 plus E1 for the outlet stream. I have just replaced here R1 by the M1 minus E1. We will expand this bracket. After that, we will get equation in this form that is nothing but M1 into XM1 is equal to E1 into Y1 plus M1 into X1 minus E1 into X1. Now, just take M1 values on the left hand side and even values on the right hand side. After taking this, you will get equation in this form that is M1 in bracket XM1 minus X1 is equal to E1 in bracket Y1 minus X1. 
So just rearrange all this term, you will get equation in this form. That is E1 is equal to M1 in bracket XM1 minus X1 divided by Y1 minus X1. So this is nothing but value of E1 and E1 is nothing but mass of the extract phase that can be calculated by this equation. So this is all about this lecture. We will see next topic in the next lecture. Thank you very much.